Wow. Uh, don't know how to start. This is amazing what's, what's happened. Did you, has it been difficult for you to um, keep the plot, the ending, under wraps with all this media attention? It has and it hasn't. Uh, I do, I've been fortunate that enough people want to talk to me that I've been doing a great deal of press. And uh, sometimes your, 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 your brain can shut off while your mouth keeps uh, working uh, and, and you find yourself a bit on autopilot. And in those moments, I, 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 I do find myself a bit concerned that I might give away something inadvertently. But on the other hand, uh, everyone, all the fans of the show, especially in, this, in these final eight episodes, have been very good about not wanting to know the ending. Uh, and I think that's, I, think, I, I really take that as the highest praise. A lot of people say to me, tell me the ending. And I start to open my mouth to tell a joke because there's no way I'm going to tell anybody the ending. And before I can even open my mouth to, to make some kind of smart ass comment, they say, I don't want to know. Which I think is great. I, uh, that's uh, because people I think innately realize that if I did tell them the ending, it would be uh, it would it would be a very sad and 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 pale experience compared to watching it. Compared to watching these wonderful actors and act it, you know. And so, yeah, I love the fact that people don't really want want the want the show ruined for them. That's good. I want to take you back a bit now to when. Apparently the, the script was stolen from Brian Cranston's car. When you first heard that, did you oh, have yeah. did you have a heart attack? What what was your what was your sort of thoughts going through your head? And did you at all at any point change anything as a result of that in the script? That scared me a great deal when when we heard that uh, Brian's car had been broken into uh, in Albuquerque in in our in our hometown uh, our shooting town there. Um, it was uh, you immediately try to. You know, think in terms of damage control, and 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 one thing that occurred to us that it was it was not, thank goodness, it was not the final episode. It, the final episode had not even been conceived at that point. It was, I think, it was episode two or three of the final eight, and um, Sony uh, Television, the, the company, the studio that that we work for, uh, has a very good security department, and they they, you know, uh, launched into. Tracking, tracking the script down, making sure it wasn't appearing on the internet, uh, and if it did, you know, working uh, very quickly to try to take it off the internet. As far as I know, it never actually appeared on the internet, which is a good thing. Uh, the, the person who, who actually stole the item uh, was later found in a strip club, I believe, in Albuquerque trying to sell it to a, a buddy. And that's when the police nabbed him. So I think he's uh, he's probably pretty sorry he, he stole this thing in the first place at this point. But yeah, you, you worry when that happens. You, you certainly don't want all your hard work ruined. But at that point, uh, we were so deep into it, there was no way to go back and change things. Um, and and the truth is, change it to what? We, we had we had come up with the best possible version of the story we could we could have arrived at at that point. So what a daunting thought to have to, to have to change it because it had been stolen, because it had been potentially mm -hmm. leaked to the world. I think uh, it would have been easier for me to just simply get my mind around the fact that people already knew what was going to happen rather than come up with a whole new story. Mm -hmm. And we, we've seen, obviously, Jesse Pinkman get high in the program. Have you ever, were you ever tempted at any point to show Walter White getting high? We talked about a great many things throughout uh, 62 episodes of story. We, we, we tried to discuss every conceivable uh, permutation of story, every possible plot twist, and we certainly talked uh, over the years about uh, Walt sampling his own product. And uh, I'm not saying it ever happened. I'm not saying it didn't ever happen, because I don't want to give away anything about these, these final episodes. But um, I could say we talked about a great many things. Um, Walter White, it seems to me, and I'm, I'm trying not to give anything away, whether or not we did it, but uh, it, 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 he always seemed to me to be a character who, who was, was addicted to the cooking of, of, the, of the methamphetamine, the creation of the product. Uh, and in, 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 in specific terms related to Walt, he, he seemed addicted to 
creating something uh, that was better than what anyone else on earth could do. He was the best in the world at creating the product that, uh, that he created, and I think he was addicted to that feeling. And anything that would, uh, that would take away from that feeling or, or, or lessen his ability to, to create that fine a product uh, was, was not something he would be drawn toward, it, it seemed by his very nature. And I want to talk about these rumors about uh, a spin-off show for Saul. Mm -hmm. What can you tell me about them? Uh, a writer named Peter Gould, uh, who, who uh, worked on Breaking Bad as a writer and producer and ultimately as a director uh, since our very first season, uh, was, was the writer who created the character of Saul Goodman back in season two. Uh, Saul first appeared in one of Peter's episodes. And Peter and I are hard at work uh, on a, on a spinoff series centering around Saul Goodman. And um, I hope it will happen. Uh, in a perfect world, we'll, we'll get it off the ground together. It'll be ordered, and we'll get it off the ground together. And then uh, Peter will, will, will take over uh, the day in and day out responsibilities of running it. Um, I remain uh, hopeful and... and um, uh, I remain, I remain hopeful that the show will go. Uh, I, I, uh, you know, I feel optimistic that it will, uh, but it's not a, a sure thing yet, so we'll have to wait and see. Okay, a couple of quick questions. You make TV. Do you ever have time to watch TV yourself, and, and what do you watch if you do get time? There are so many wonderful shows on now that it's a bit overwhelming to try to keep track of them all. And also, you know, it's a bit of a busman's holiday to, to after having spent all day creating TV to go home and then watch TV. Uh, so I, I, I don't stay abreast of, of, of current shows like I should, but Mad Men's a wonderful show, Homeland's a wonderful show, Game of Thrones. There's so many, so many good programs being made in, in the States. There's so many great programs coming out of, uh, of the UK. One of my favorite shows, and, and a lot of them are, are not, uh, certainly not household names uh, in the States, but, uh, you know, a show I love, uh, I guess it's been off the air for a long time, but uh, Garth Marenghi's Dark Place. Have you ever seen that show? I love that show. That thing is fantastic. I love that kind of, I love British humor. I love, I love those kind of shows. I watch a lot of old American television when I get home. I watch Columbo or Twilight Zone or uh, Perry Mason I've been watching. I, 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 I tend to be, I'm a, I tend to watch television in a way that, that uh, I tend to be a bad uh, partaker of television because I tend to channel surf a lot. Uh, I don't use my TiVo to, to good advantage. I, I, I tape things. When I do tape things, I forget to watch them later. Instead, I just surf around. I'm, I'm a terrible television watcher. I'm the kind of television watcher that television writers hate. <laughs> <laughs> and one last quick question. Is there any program that you wish you'd come up with out there at the moment? Oh, gosh, there's so many programs that uh, I wish I had created. Um, oh, I just, you can name any, I'm greedy that way. Any, any great show you can name that's on the air now, I'd, I'd, I'd want to I'd wanna hand in, I'm sure. You know, but I, you know, I think back to my favorites of all time. I, I think uh, I have to go back to the Twilight Zone. Uh, as, a, as a good starting point. That, that show is a show I would have been proud to have been, let alone create, uh, you know, leave, leaving create, creating aside, I would have been proud to have been a writer on that show. I uh, would have been proud to have been in the writer's room. And I think that, that, that era predated the idea of writer's rooms, but I would have been proud to have written an episode of that show. Excellent. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you.